if statements are very, very simple. Since Lua is written almost like English, it's really easy to learn if statements. For example, let me write one. This if statement right here checks if x equals 1, and then it prints x is equal to 1. When I run the game, in the output, we see x is equal to 1. However, as you might have guessed, if I change this to 2 and run the game, it's not going to print that. Stating the obvious, the reason for this is because x is equal to 1, and here, we're only running this code if x equals 2. One more thing you may have pointed out is that there are two equal signs here, and the reason for this is we are doing a check. When you are setting a variable to something, you use one equal sign. For example, I'm telling the script right here, x equals one. However, over here, I want to check what the value of x is. So what I'm doing is if x equals equals, and then what I want to check for. In this case, I'm checking for two. And since x does not equal two, this code will not run. One more thing I want to show you is not equal to two. There should be a button above tab to the left of one around that area on your keyboard. If you hold shift and press it, you're going to get this symbol right here. One of these plus an equal sign means not equal. That means this code will run if x is not equal to 2. Running the game will see in the output that x is equal to 1. However, if statements alone provide limited functionality, let's go ahead and see what else statements can do. Compared to if statements, else statements are actually really really similar. But anyways, let me show you guys how to use an else statement. Let's change this back to x equals equals 1, and right here we're just going to change this end to else. After that, let's just press enter, and it's going to create an end automatically. If it doesn't create an end automatically, something might be wrong. Make sure you fix it. What I've done here is set x to 2, and wrote this statement that says x was not equal to 1. If I were to run the game right now, you can already tell that it's going to print this statement right here. You can already tell it's going to print this one right here. Just for proof of concept, I ran the game and as you can see it says x was not equal to 1. Else statements are really simple and they're really easy to combine with the last section of the video where we talked about if statements. However, another addition we can make to if statements are else if statements. Let's learn about them. 